Hi, I'm Joe Petro, the Director of Engineering at Infratech. The purpose of these videos is to make specifying and installing our products easier for you. Prior to installation or service of Infratech equipment, you'll need to disconnect all power at the main feed. You should also use a qualified electrician who's familiar with the National Electric Code. In this video, we'll discuss the application and installation of the INF input regulator assemblies. The INF assemblies are used most commonly with single element heaters rated at less than 15 amps. That's typically 3,000 watts at 240 volt or 1,600 watts at 120 volt. We do not recommend the INF assemblies for use with dual element heaters. The INF is also a coarse form of control. It is not a true dimmer. It will gently pulse the heat on and off. We offer the INF in a variety of configurations, including flush mount, flush mount with a weatherproof cover, and surface mount with a weatherproof cover. Prior to installation, please refer to the wiring diagram included with the INF control, or you can download the wiring diagram from our website under the literature library. Now that we have a wiring diagram handy, we're ready to begin installation of the input regulator assembly. Installation is very simple. All you need to do is bring line one and line two to the input regulator, line one and line two. You will then connect the heater to H1 and H2. H1 to the black wire in the heater, H2 to the red wire in the heater. There's an optional pilot light that is rarely used. When the heater is on and operating, it glows a dull orange and generates heat. It's obvious the heater is working. Once you've finished connecting the ground in the heater, your installation is complete. Well, hopefully this video has been helpful. It's our goal at Infratech to provide the best products and the best information to make your installation a success. Should you need additional assistance, please feel free to contact Infratech.